recent Kamala Harris interview on Fox News was a disaster, and Donald Trump took on X to roast her. Here we have Trump once again hitting the nail on the head with his latest tweet. The man doesn't hold back, and honestly, why should he? Kamala Harris, who Trump refers to here as having Trump derangement syndrome, is a walking case study in political hypocrisy and incompetence. And let's be real, he's right. Harris can't go five minutes in an interview without blaming Trump for the sun not shining or the wind not blowing the right direction. It's almost a reflex at this point, which is why Trump labels her condition irredeemable. And who could argue with him when he says she's the absolute worst in memory? I mean, we've all seen her interviews. It's almost painful to watch her struggle to answer basic questions, let alone put forward any coherent policies. But of course, she'll always manage to throw in a jab at Trump because heaven forbid she takes any responsibility for the dumpster fire she and Biden have created. Now Trump points out something that gets swept under the rug by the mainstream media, his record. He had the best economy, the strongest border. These are facts. And just to stick it to her, he mentions the U.S. Border Patrol's unanimous endorsement of him. That's no small thing, folks. The people whose job it is to protect our border, the border that Harris and her boss are practically handing over on a silver platter, just gave their full support to Trump. Harris, on the other hand, can barely figure out which country she's supposed to be negotiating with. Frankly, exhausted of Brett. More than 70% of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, that track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. That is what they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you vice and I president. both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually about. don't. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that over the last decade, People but you're the have lever become, of power. but listen, over the last decade, it is clear to me, and certainly the Republicans who are on stage with me. You call let's not Donald Trump. The significance you, you, you of that. call Donald Trump. Um, he's misguided. You say now he's he unstable. Is unstable. He is unstable. But uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room. And he has the judgment and the experiment and experience to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe, were Biden, no concerns raised? Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. But is, you talked about it. And Donald Trump After George is, Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to Donald President Trump, Biden at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the Brett, same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Trump is on the ballot. I understand. Kamala Harris has just once again served us her word salad in this interview. And Trump's not wrong when he says she's the worst vice president in history. She hasn't done a thing of substance since taking office, unless you count awkward laughing during serious conversations as an accomplishment. If you do, then yeah, she's top of the list. Hopefully the American people will see how little she knows about policies now, and we can avoid another four years of disaster.